says, unless you be like a little child, you cannot in no wise enter the kingdom of God. Um, I don't know about you, but that scripture is for me because I don't feel like a child. I feel old. <laughs> I feel older. And I notice that as you begin to feel older, uh, most older people, they resist change. Change is difficult. Uh, just a few days ago, we, my family and I went to this vacation, uh, to this uh, condo unit. We left, it was pouring, it was raining, remember? It was bad last week. And when we arrived uh, kind of at night time, we were all tired. We settled into the room, it's on the first floor. Uh, you know, just wanted to sleep quickly and so forth. And of course, we, I, I unpacked and everything and wanted to rest. And in the evening time of sleeping, I, I woke up, wanted to go to the bathroom, and I step out of the bed, and as soon as I step on the carpet, the carpet has water. Um, you don't like that, you know, especially at night. And my wife also experienced that. So the following day, we had to move to another uh, unit. And uh, although I wanted to move, but the fact that when you have settled down, you're comfortable, you don't have to pack again and then move again. You know, it's so difficult. I mean, at this particular age, you know, sometimes you just want to stay home, um, go to church, man, it's kind of cold. And, you know, you're comfortable, as Mr. Ray is saying, it's, you're comfortable with uh, what you have. And change gets more difficult. I, I know young people, you know, you know exciting you know, change and so forth. But this is what it's all about. What we have here is, in fact, Jesus Christ called the symbols here uh, the new covenant. You know, the cup, it's, it's a testimony of the new covenant, our new life in Christ. So it must be very difficult for the Jews at the time because for hundreds of years, they were used to giving offerings to God and sacrifices, you know, killing bulls and animals, spill the blood, and, and that's how they atone their sins. That's how they think. Hundreds of years and years of practice, and then suddenly Jesus changed the whole thing. This is going to be different. And now it's not about animals, it's not about blood, it's about me. We're going to change the symbols. Now it's the sacrifice, now it's not animals, it's about Jesus. So you can imagine how difficult it is for the Jews to change to this. And in fact, when Jesus was teaching about this aspect of it's me that you have to drink in and eat and so forth, blasphemy, they said, and they put Jesus to death. Because change is really difficult. But you know what? When we talk about new beginning, we talk about new life, change is a must. That's what it is. A new beginning means change. Notice in Matthew, Matthew 9, uh, verse 16. Just one scripture. Matthew 9, verse 16 and 17. I notice this PowerPoint is very new covenant. It doesn't want to display Old Testament scriptures. <laughs> Only New Testament. <laughs> Matthew 9, verse 16. And what does it say? <clears throat> Um, no one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloth, for the patch pulls away from the cloth, and a worse tear is made. But verse 17 is the one I want to emphasize. Neither is new wine put in the old wine skin, otherwise the skin burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wine skin, and so both are preserved. Christ is not selling wine here, you know, how to, <laughs> how to preserve wine and so forth. You know, everybody knows that this is a metaphor. It's a symbol. It's, that's what it is. It's a symbol. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and they don't use bottles. They use wine skin. So what happens is that, you know, a wine skin, after, after it gets aged, it becomes hard and brittle, and it breaks easily, especially when you put new wine. So what he's saying is that, okay, we are not using glass bottles. We, we, you know, in this case, it's new wine skin. And so it is with our new life in Christ. You know, when you put a new wine, a new wine basically when you put it in a container, a new wine has a, this, it will ferment, it has alcohol, and it's bubbly. It will tend to expand. So when you put new wine into old wine skin, you know what happens. It bursts, and it's, it's a waste. That's what happens. That's why Jesus says, in, in here, it's saying, 
there's going to be a new wine that's going to be put, and it's got to be a new wine skin. It talks about us, people. It's, it's us, it's you and me. Because, as I was saying a while ago, I'm feeling old. You know, I hate change. I don't want change or not, whatever, you know. You're comfortable, but Jesus is saying, I'm using that also as a metaphor. What he's saying is, in Christ, we have to change our own. And unless we be like a little child, that's new white skin. So that, because the Holy Spirit, maybe we can use the same, the same metaphor, the Holy Spirit of God is bubbly. I like that. <laughs> bubbly spirit. It's, it, 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 it grows, it expands, and, and it, the Spirit stretches us. You know, it stretches us, but if we say, I want to a new life, but then we want to stick to our own old ways, we don't want to change. I, this is me, and I will not be willing to stress and be like a little child to be teachable. You know what the metaphor is saying? You will break. You will break. It can't be that way. You have to be a new wine skin. We have to be new creation. We have to be like a child. We have to be humble. And that's what this communion is about because this communion is about taking in Jesus. It's about his life in us. It's about that. So as we partake this symbol, let's think about the life of Jesus in us and us receiving him with such a humble spirit, a humble and a contrite heart such that whatever the Spirit of God wants to do, perhaps God's Spirit will stretch you. I'm sure all of you here, with God's Spirit, the Spirit of God is bubbly. It's a nice bubbly. It will bubble up and wants to accomplish, wants to expand and stretch us. Maybe it's not comfortable, but that God's, that's God's Spirit. He wants to do things. So that's the question that I'd like to end and ask us today for this year. Where is God calling you to do, to do new things in, in your life? Where is God calling you for a newness? For a newness this year in your, as Mr. Rez, in your life, personal life, in our relationship in the church, in our ministries, um, to a new way of living, relating ourselves to God. Where is God going to stretch us with, a, with our uh, understanding of God, perhaps there are things that we hold on to in the old that God says that's not what I want I want you to learn new things, understand and get to know God more where is God calling us to perhaps to new visions this year you know we're old, I know and sometimes we get settled into, I don't want to change, you know I don't want to change, if you don't want to change you will break. <laughs> We're brittle. You know? You know what I mean? What old beliefs and practices are we holding and embracing and we love that old white skin? God's saying, it won't work. Be a child. What new neighbors? What new friends? Perhaps strangers that God is saying, oh, I want you to welcome them into your life. What new wine in your life is you know, now where is it expanding you in your life? So that's the question, and so let's look at this. This is Jesus. The Spirit of God makes Jesus live in us. And that's God. He is bubbly. He will stretch us for His work, for His purpose. So let's God, ask God to bless this ceremony, and let's partake of the symbols. Lord, we thank you so much that this communion it's a picture of new life, new beginning. And that's what you are, we want to accomplish in us. Because Jesus, it is you who live in us. And even Paul said in Galatians 2.20, It is not I who lives, but Christ lives in me. Christ is the new wine and he's the new wineskin. Gives us the humility to receive and let him live. So, Lord, thank you for teaching us this lesson, and we submit to you. And bless it, and everyone here, Lord, as they come. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.